As a sensitive empath, highly sensitive person, especially as a sensitive woman, when you are healing after toxic men have been abusing you, manipulating you, brainwashing you, disrespecting you, harassing you sexually, maybe even and maybe even physically attacked you, it is important to, to remember that their tactic is all about that manipulation and brainwashing because they just want power and control over you and it's not your issue primarily it is always their issue and you know what they want to do is completely you know overcome you in every sense of the word energetically in, in every way and they blame you they will always blame you for everything Manipulation, in short, is blaming you, brainwashing you into blaming yourself, into questioning yourself, your truth, your reality about life, about yourself, about everything, to have power over you, so that you don't have your identity, so that you don't have your personal power within you, that you don't have your high frequency, your high vibe energy, you don't have basically anything without them they are just making you their toy their object their sexual slave usually it is about this and it's nothing more and it's not anything that you should be blaming yourself for they will gaslight you first they will trigger you, intentionally hurt you in some ways. And this is usually verbal, of course. But anyway, they will do this. And then when you get triggered, when you get angry, when you show emotional reactions in any way, which is natural because you are a sensitive woman and <laughs> you are already healing after painful experiences if you've been dealing with this ever since you were a child. So there can be deep wounds within you that you need to heal. And, you know, it's not your problem. You have to remind yourself that it's not your problem, you know, that you are encountering this because you are just a victim in this state of being. So, you know, what they love to do is intentionally trigger you in some way that you're showing those deep emotions and, and, you know, everything that is within you. They will make fun of it. They will blame you that you are the crazy one. So they are intentionally brainwashing you, manipulating you, deceiving you in every way. They want you to be the villain in their story. So this is why they act like this, why they treat you like this. And, you know, the whole point is to make you just blame yourself and suffer. And that they do not take that accountability. They do, they do not take that responsibility. They just want to blame you like a scapegoat for everything that is wrong, <laughs> you know, in their life. So they will always blame you for every single thing like you might have noticed already but maybe you've been blaming yourself, maybe you've been suffering from within because you've been so abused and betrayed and, and deceived and cheated on and you know blamed for their every single problem in their life so it is too much. It is too much, especially as a sensitive empath, highly sensitive person, especially as a sensitive woman. It's too much to carry another person's pain like that. It's not okay. It's not right in any way. And it just makes me angry to even think about it. And when I notice, you know, these things happen in the daily life, like sexual harassment, for example, which seems to be very common these days even more so because of social media so it's just crazy so there's always this same pattern that if you defend yourself in any way get triggered show emotions uh, voice your your opinions whatever you say to them in that situation they will not hear you 
they will only try to gaslight you even more if you if you try to stand up for yourself. And I'm speaking from experience again here. So this is the pattern, you know, how they use that manipulation, brainwashing, gaslighting. And it's it is just a scheme so that you would lose your mind basically that you would lose your identity because you feel like you are such a shitty person like a failed person who does not deserve normal treatment that now as an adult you can stop blaming yourself become free from this become free detached from the toxic person whoever it is in your life replace that toxic person with <laughs> healthy healthy people healthy relationships that are aligned with you and your healed energy your healed life your renewed life because you have been renewing yourself and you know you've been doing that because it's what your brain and your body ultimately want for you <clears throat> so they want you to heal they want you to renew your life in every way so maybe you've been doing that and you have to be have to be proud of yourself because you've been through this and it's just horrific so congratulate yourself now <laughs> and as always if you need guidance if you need more help and support i know how i can help you <laughs> if you are open to it if we have a call, my free consultation call, and talk about your situation first so that I can, I can understand where you are going in your life and what I can help you with. So I do offer my honest and <laughs> kind, compassionate guidance, of course, so that you can do that healing, so that you can move on, so that you can renew your life because you're here to be, you know, healthy and happy and nothing more and i hope that you can keep in mind to keep yourself sane and rational and so that you can be yourself you, you so that you can see the separate separateness between you and this toxic person because this can also be a big factor and it can be so difficult to really detach and move on and and all of that so I know how painful it is because I've been enduring this my entire life and I did everything that I could to stop all of this and I have come out as a winner definitely. So it really can take work, yes. Usually healing is a lot of work, especially when you're dealing with this serious kind of, you know, treatment, abuse, manipulation, deception, gaslighting. It is very very serious because as a child as a sensitive child it is a lot harder to be saving yourself from all of this you don't usually have any tools or you know if, if you don't have people who would support and help you through something like this you know adults who would really take responsibility in my case, this never happened. So if this resonates with you, then you are definitely my soul sister or, or uh, soul brother. And I do welcome you to, you know, reach out if you need more one-on-one uh, -on -one help and guidance. Because, of course, I can only help a lot better if I can actually talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. So it's a lot harder for me to <laughs> help here when I'm just recording my videos and uh, creating my posts. But be wise and remember that this toxic cycle won't end unless you put an end, an end to it. Like I just said in my video, appre appreciate yourself and, and set your boundaries and walk away as soon as possible. It can be very difficult later on. So of course, as soon as possible, you can do that, the better. But this is very damaging treatment if you are experiencing this in your current reality it is so 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 toxic and serious and it should not be taken lightly at all especially if you're in a relationship 
in a romantic relationship with this person and you know you cannot be yourself you cannot voice your opinions or anything you don't have any identity or independence because you are just a toy 